Good evening. Okay, I will continue to talk about production of speech sounds. And the other day I told you that vocal cords have a very complex structure and they perform a variety of functions. We are, you know, can you name some of them? We are able to hear one another because of vocal cords. We are able to whisper because of vocal cords. We are able to bring a variety of tones because of vocal cords and you know similar social functions are performed by vocal cords. Many people have called vocal cords something like resonator or phonator which carries voice to a distance. The other day we also saw how vibrations can change and changing vibrations produce different kinds of voice tones. Okay. All of these things can be computed, can be computerized, you can synthesize, you can create artificial voice to a large extent. A lot has happened by way of engineering, a lot has happened by way of human understanding of the production of speech sounds. Let us summarize. The other day I also said that primarily vocal cords can be in one of the three positions. Okay? Do you remember I also said that it is because of the vocal cords that men sound different from women and both men and women sound different from children. Why do men sound different from women? Length. Can you please speak louder so that the camera can catch you? Uh, the length is different. Length of what? <coughs> yeah, length of erytenoid cartilage. What is it? Erytenoid cartilage is different among men from women. How long is it among men? Among men, it is generally speaking 21 millimeters. Among women? Adult men and women. Adult women have it about 18 millimeters long and in children it is shorter. That is why you know our voices differ. But you know each individual, it is not that you and I and all of us have only 21 millimeters. It could be a nanomillimeter more or less. Just as no two people here are the same height, same length, same weight, same complexion. There are some you know minuscule, some minor differences. So is it there also in the erytenoid cartilage and that gives us our unique voice. Similarly, there can be in a very, very loose, very generalized sense, three positions of the vocal cords. Vocal cords can be in 3000 different positions, in hundreds of thousands of different positions. But if you classify them, you know, what we do in sciences is we impose arbitrary classification on natural data. Natural data are not all as clear cut as we see here three positions. Do you understand? Yes or no please? You know the nature has greater variety, far greater variety than just to say black and white. There is gray, there is brown, there is yellow, there are other colors in between. So similarly vocal cords can be in many different positions, but for the sake of description, for the sake of a study, we say that vocal cords can be in one of the three positions. What are the three positions? Look at the, uh, look at the screen and there can be position A. What is it in position A? Vocal cords are fully closed, tight shut. No air can come out of the lungs, no air can get into the lungs. Okay? In that case, no speech sound can be produced except some one or two in some languages sounds like you know where you do not require lung air, where air in your mouth is manipulated. Okay? Or you can say you know where air in front of your mouth is manipulated. But these sounds are limited, few and far between. 
many Indian languages do not have click as a speech sound. Some African languages have it, but by and large no speech sound can be produced when the vocal cords are in position A. When they are in position B, can we produce a speech sounds or cannot we? What is your guess? Yes or no? Can we produce speech sounds? Yes, we can produce speech sounds, but they are these sounds are not audible at a distance. I can still speak, but maybe you cannot hear me. Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> can you hear me? Okay, maybe with effort, you know, with effort because you know the context. You know what I am talking about, but suddenly if I start describing the idlis that are sold in Warangal after it has become Telangana, okay, you would not understand because I, the context is new to you. Okay. So, you know when vocal cords are in position B, then speech sounds are possible, but those speech sounds cannot be heard at a distance. C, what is the position? vocal cords are loosely together, partly open, loosely together. If there is sufficient air pressure, then air can pass through the vocal cords and in the process they vibrate. Okay? They open and close, they open and close, you know, they are like this passing air sends them vibrating and you know that produces noise. Is speech sound possible there or not possible there? What do you say? speech sounds possible there and these sounds can be heard even at a distance. So, let us summarize is uh, vocal cords in position A that is tightly shut no or nearly no speech sounds possible. Vocal cords in position B speech sounds possible, but come on please but voiceless cannot be heard at a distance. Speech uh, sorry vocal cords in position C speech sounds can be produced and can be heard at a even at a distance that is voiced sounds. Please write in Speech sounds produced when vocal cords are wide apart. Okay, they are called. Please remember it. Please remember it for the rest of your life, not only this course. These sounds are called voiceless sounds. It is a contradiction, it is a contradiction how can there be a voiceless sound. If it is sound there is voice, but okay, for the sake of technical description we say these are voiceless sounds by which we mean that sounds are there of course but vocal cords are not vibrating in the production of these sounds. These are voiceless sounds. What is the example of a voiceless sound? As in house, okay. as in fan, okay. as in sip, as in sun, okay. as in sit or sh as in sure, as in share, as in shine, sh these are all voiceless sounds. Okay? But speech sounds produced when vocal cords are partly open.
loosely together, they are sorry. They are what is the opposite of voiceless? Voiced, they are voiced sounds. What is the example of a voiced sound? Plenty. In each language, we have more voiced sounds than we have voiceless sounds, otherwise, we would not be able to hear one another. Okay? All vowels are voiced, lots of consonants are voiced. What are vowels voice sounds? Voice sounds are those sounds in the production of which vocal cords vibrate. Say for example, zzz, keep your finger here and feel the vibration. Zzz, this is voice sound or ah, this is voice sound, but no vibration therefore, this is voiceless sound. Is it voiced or voiceless? Voiced or voiceless? Voiceless. Voiced. Voiced or voiceless? Voiced. Okay. That you are able to hear it, that it vibrates here okay. means that this is voice sound. If it does not vibrate, if vocal cords are wide apart, then that sound is voiceless. Close your eyes and tell me. In the production of voice sounds, vocal cords complete the sentence. Vib okay, vibrate. In the production of voiceless sounds, vocal cords do not vibrate. The other way, look at it the other way around. Voiceless sounds are those in the production of which vocal cords do not vibrate and voice sounds are those in the production of which vocal cords vibrate. I will give you 30 seconds to write the definition quickly. Okay? Voice sounds are these, voiceless sounds are those. Right? We are not looking at position A because few, very few speech sounds in any language are produced from position A of the vocal cords. Correct? Right. Let us move on. Okay. How are different kinds of sounds produced? How are different kinds of speech sounds produced? Because you know we have more than a few. We do not have only two or three. We do not have only wow wow or bow wow we have more. We also have wow wow, you know when we see something wonderful, we say wow. When we see the same wonderful thing twice, we say wow wow. <laughs> okay. But we have more, we also say ah. When we see an old man and an old woman sitting with a begging bowl on the road, we also say ah. When we see two people, we say ah ah. You know, we can say we can produce a variety of sounds. How do we produce those variety of sounds? From the same vocal cords, we said only two kinds of sounds are possible, voiced and voiceless. Do you get the question? You know, in sciences particularly, answers are not important because no answer is constant in science. Answers keep changing in sciences. Sometime we believed that earth was the center of universe. Then we believe that the sun was the center of universe. Now we believe that neither of them is the center of universe. They are all in constant motion, etcetera, etcetera. Sciences are important because they ask new and disturbing questions. They always ask why and how. So, the one question here is same air stream, are you with me? Same air stream, same organ for forming their functions in the same manner or similar manner. How can this apparatus, how can this machine produce a variety of different kinds of sounds? Look at the answer. You know they interact and through permutations and combinations. 
if you have only three letters a b and c and you can combine any with any then how many combinations do you get a a a b a c then you get b b b a b c then you get c c c a or a c you know there are some 10 or 15 combinations can be done with only three letters right similarly you know these are the parameters what are the parameters look at the screen the vocal cords either they are either they produced voiced sounds or they produce voiceless sounds similarly when air comes up to the vocal up to the uvula here can you see the arrow yes or no please yes sir okay when the air comes near the uvula there is a choice it can be either oral or it can be nasal, nasal or it can be nasalized so there is that choice so the second choice is either the sounds are voiced or voiceless or the sounds are oral or nasal or the sounds can be produced with or without obstruction you see any number of obstructions can occur the tongue can block air and then release it the tongue can block air here then release it lips can block air block air and then release it so through obstruction and through release of obstruction a variety of sounds can be produced not only that obstruction at different places you see obstruction here between soft palate and tongue gives you sounds like ka ga kha please say it but now say ta tha say the entire thing ta tha da dha is it at the same place once again check say ka kha ga gha please say it now say pa pha ba bha is it at the same place do you feel the obstruction at the same place no obviously not when you say ka kha ga gha the obstruction is look at it here between the back of the tongue here back of the tongue and soft palate but when you say pa fa the obstruction is near the lips both your lips come together only then do you say pa but when you say ta tha da da na say it where is the obstruction tip of the tongue and where no are not hard palates mahesh teeth that is why you know in our system of writing we call the symbols for these sounds are called by organ of articulation pa pha ba bha are osthabhya labial sounds ta tha da dha na are dental sounds but look at cha cha say it say the entire thing cha cha ja ja you know where do you get these sounds from from middle from hard palate the tongue here you know the center of the tongue center of the tongue rises towards the hard palate or blocks air and then you get cha cha ja ja ya but come further back when you have ka kha ga ga where is the obstruction say cha and ka please say it alternately cha ka cha ga say it the ja ga say do you feel at the same place do you feel the obstruction at the same place yes or no please no obvious you know then say loud let the camera catch it let the rest of the world think that people at iit are not sick you know they are as robust physically as they are perhaps mentally okay the obstruction occurs at different places so please note mentally you know that the point of obstruction and release of obstruction create give us two other parameters what are the other parameters number one vocal cords voiced or voiceless then we have oral or nasal then we have obstruction or no obstruction 
then we have place of obstruction. Where does the obstruction occur? Then we have manner of obstruction. All obstructions are not the same kind. Say for instance, when you say pa, pa, ba, ba, both your lips are together. Say it. Can you say it with only one lip? Try and say papa with only one lip. <laughs> Not possible, right? No matter, you may be an Olympic champion or you may be JEE topper, but you can't do papa without both your lips. But look at the other thing, when you say s, it is partial open, there is some gap between the two teeth, correct? So, you know, you can feel air coming out. Do it. Do it, please. Okay. So, manner of obstruction is differ, also differs. It is not the same. In some places, you can have total obstruction. manner of obstruction can differ. Either you can, you have, you have either no obstruction, okay? none at all. After vocal cords, no obstruction, flows freely ah, or, ah, or there can be yes obstruction, okay? but even among between in the yes, you can have many different kinds. You can have complete obstruction, you can have total obstruction when you produce pa, okay. when you produce pa, there is total obstruction unless both your lips come together, unless both lips tightly shut the oral channel, that sound cannot come out. Okay. So, you have pa, pa, ba, ba, ma, but when you say s, a z, or ha, it is not total obstruction, it is partial obstruction, okay? it is partial obstruction. The part of the passage is constricted, it is so narrow that the air goes, but air goes with friction and in the process there is noise. Okay? So, another parameter is place of obstruction, sorry manner of obstruction and their manner of obstruction can also differ. Either there is, please complete, no obstruction or there is yes obstruction. Yes obstruction can also be two or three different kinds. Either there is complete closure or there is partial, partial closure. So, you know these combinations give us different kinds of sound. Are they voiced or voiceless? Are they oral or nasal? Are they obstructed or unobstructed? Are they partly obstructed, fully obstructed? Ask the questions once again. Are they voiced or voiceless? Then are they oral or nasal? Then, then complete or partly obstructed. Okay. Then there is release of obstruction. Obstruction alone is not enough. If you keep your mouth shut, there will be no noise, there will be no speech sound. That is the position of either yoga or quarrel between man and wife. Okay? Speech sounds happen because obstruction is released, obstruction is opened. Okay? So, obstruction can be released in one of the two manners. Okay? Either it can be released suddenly, sudden release, or it can be gradual release. Either it is sudden release or it is gradual release. Sudden release, such as you see complete closure, both your lips are together and your cheek is puffed, and you say pa. Ba, ba, but look at the other thing, you know, in English particularly, a sound like 
ch as in church, j as in judge. There is complete closure. The, the middle of the tongue here rises towards the heart palate, completely blocks it and then slowly it lets it go. Church, judge, bench, chair, cheer. Okay? In our languages it is not so gradual, but in English it is gradual. The total obstruction is released gradually, slowly, not sudden, not there is sudden explosion. Okay. So, let us now revise the parameters which help us get sounds. Please look at the screen if you like or close your eyes and say. We get different kinds of sounds because vocal cords are either you know sounds are either voiced or voiceless. Either they are oral or nasal. nasal. Either they are obstructed or unobstructed. Either they are obstructed at the lips or obstructed at tongue or back of tongue, middle of the tongue. Either they are totally obstructed or they are either they are suddenly released or gradually released. Please write quickly. What are the parameters that give us these sounds? These are the parameters voiced or voiceless, oral or nasal, obstructed or obstructed, tongue or lips and gradual or sudden. Okay. These combinations together okay, give us a variety of speech sounds with which there is no language in the world which needs anything more than this. With the, with the interaction of these parameters, we get different kinds of speech sounds. Let us come to something interesting. What is the first major class of sounds? What is the first major class of sounds? The first major class of sounds, you know, first classification. Okay? As in the animal world, so in the world of speech sounds, we make classification, broad class classification major classification and then sub classification and sub sub classification. You see at this institute we can say there are two major classifications, faculty and staff versus students. Then among the students we will make further classification, undergraduate, postgraduate. Among the undergraduate we will make further classification, okay? aerospace or department wise or hostel wise, okay? girls hostel, boys hostel. Okay? There may be boys who live constantly elsewhere, just as there may be students who do not live on the campus. But you know, we make some broad classifications in this manner. Similarly, in speech sounds as well, we make classification. The first major classification is please write vowel sounds. What are vowel sounds? Vowel sounds are those sounds, please write. Vowel sounds are those sounds which are vowels are vowels or vowel sounds are number one. What do you say voiced or voiceless? Voiced. voiced. You I you just say it. Keep your finger here and follow me. Say I it constantly vibrates. So, first characteristic of vowel sounds is number one, they are voiced. Okay. Second, are they oral or nasal? See, keep your hand here and see where air comes from. Say, I, o, e. do you find air coming from your mouth or from your nose? Mouth. So, second characteristic is they are oral. Third, third are they obstructed or unobstructed? They are unobstructed. Once they cross the vocal cords, once they send vocal cords vibrating, after that there is no obstruction anywhere in the production of speech sounds. They, they pass through the 
they pass through the oral passages. You see, here is the vocal cords, they cross it, they leave it vibrating, and then they go through the pharynx and then through the oral passage, through the oral cavity, they flow freely, and that is vowel sound. So, the third characteristic of vowel sound is they are free or un please give me the word unobstructed lovely you are great phoneticians now ok I expect to have some 10 great phoneticians from this class. Now please what are the characteristics of vowel sounds? Vowel sounds are voiced, voiced oral and unobstructed close your eyes Vo vowel sounds are voiced oral unobstructed ok. There is no exception to this rule open your eyes now there is no exception to this rule that all vowel sounds in any language of the world be the Telugu be the English be the French be the Vietnamese no matter what all vowel sounds in all human languages have these characteristics what are they? they are <coughs> voiced oral and free unobstructed. Now comes a bigger qu another question. If they are all the same then how, what is the difference between a and e? What is the difference between e and u? Okay? They are both vowel sounds. How do we get different kinds of vowel sounds? How do we get a, e, u, a, o, i, o, all of these vowel sounds you know? In Telugu you call them swara, correct? In Sanskrit we call them swara. How do we get different kinds of vowel sounds? What parameters work there? If you look at this area, all vowel sounds are produced from this area. Can you see the arrow moving? Can you see the arrow head moving please? They are produced from this area, from near the alveolar ridge to the middle of the tongue and back of the tongue to the soft palate. They make some kind of a trapezium. Some kind of a trapezium okay. from here to here, from near the alveolar ridge to the middle of the tongue and then from the soft palate to the back of the tongue all of these vocal crusts, vowel sounds are produced. If you raise the tongue slightly, you get e, say it, e. but if you open your jaws, lower the tongue, then you get a. Ah. If you open it only little less, then you get a. If you open it more, then you get a. Ah. Begin again, open it slightly, you get e. Okay, that way you know you, you really you know do not get bored. So, you know when you say e the opening is limited e, e. open it more and you get a, e. still more you get a, <laughs> still more you get a. You see the degree of opening the varies. Now, come backwards, okay, you say e. Then you say, uh, see, e, uh, oo. Oo. when you say, oo, it is further back on the tongue. So, these parameters, you know, from here to here and from here to here, they look like a trapezium. Okay? Please copy it quick. This is the idealized diagram of the vowel area ok. Idealized do not go with a torch and look into your friend's mouth and see I want to see vowel trapezium in your mouth ok. God did not create such stupid things there ok. But generally you know this is the geometry of the area this is the trigonometry of the area from which we produce vowel sounds you know some sounds are at the near the front of the mouth some vowel sounds come from near the back of the mouth just as some sounds come from extreme closer or the you know jaws are raised 
or they are produced from the extreme opening jaws are lowered together this area the, the you know the diagram of this area in idealized situation not in the real situation real life is much more complex but the parameters are the same okay here for the classroom purposes this is the idealized situations what is a vowel trapezium vowel trapezium is an idealized description of that area in your mouth in my mouth in our mouth from where we produce vowel sounds please write vowel trapezium is an idealized representation of the area from where we produce vowel sounds area in our mouth from where we produce vowel sounds am i clear to you say yes or no please yes. lovely you are angels okay is that clear ma sure okay now what are the parameters in vowel trapezium okay what 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 are the kinds of things we look you know vowel trapezium can have these parameters number 1 please look at the diagram you are either at the front of it or at the back of it either it is high or it is low some in many books in place of high please write you will find close many books say close here they say close both jaws are close together when you say e say it they cannot come closer if you bring further closer the mouth will get shut so begin with a okay and close it as i do a so there will come a point beyond which if you shut there will be no sound there will be obstruction similarly there is a point beyond which you cannot open you start with e and reach a e a you cannot go further nobody can pull your you know tongue further than or jaws further than this so these are closed this is open or in many book you find it high and this is lo doesn't matter use whatever you know a label you like similarly this is vertical axis this is vertical axis on the horizontal axis this is what is this this is front on the hard on the horizontal axis this is front and therefore this is back and therefore this is central okay in between in between there are many positions you look at a when you say a as in egg when you say e jaws are closed when you say a jaws are open okay but when you say a it is in the middle it is somewhere here it is somewhere here so people take lots of other cuts okay now to describe the vowel sounds in all languages of the world to describe the vowel sounds in the languages of the world people have thought of these parameters what are those please write either they are front or back <coughs> or they are high or low close or open as you like okay all right <clears throat> say for example if how well like e is close okay but another vowel like i am using some phonetic symbols you will find them in the books or you know you can learn them i can give you link i can i think i have given you all some links already you know so they are both vowel sounds but they differ from each other 
this is a vowel sound as much as this is a vowel sound. They differ from each other in only one respect that is this is high, this is low or in other words this is close and this is half open, not fully open, but half open. Similarly, you know compare this with O, okay. this is front, but this is back. There can be another vowel O as in a, 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 okay, as in about, as in away, this is right in the center it is neither fully open nor fully closed. It is neither front nor back, it is in the center. So, there can be each you know of these different positions which help us describe vowels, but at the extreme edges, at the extreme edges here, 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 at the extreme point you know phoneticians have decided that with reference to these points other vowels can be described. Therefore, these extreme points are known as please write what are these extreme points? These are cardinal vowels, cardinal vowels are extreme sounds nobody has no language has those extreme sounds, but it is like north pole and south pole. With reference to these two poles you can describe the rest of the earth. Okay. Similarly, with reference to these points, okay, it is not the case that in any language you have a vowel sound which is produced from extreme front and extreme high or extreme close or extreme opening or extreme back they are somewhere here, they are somewhere here, but with reference to these points you can describe them. But these imaginary vowels, these imaginary vowels which do not exist in any language, but which help us describe existing vowels please write are called cardinal vowels. What are cardinal vowels? Cardinal vowels are imaginary vowels at the extreme of the trapezium. Okay. We will finish in a few moments. Okay. This is the shape that cardinal vowel will look like. Okay. If you draw a diagram, these are the cardinal vowels. Okay. Look at the letters in black, they are E, U, A, O, A, O, A, A. Okay, there are some letters in red, I will tell you in a minute. What is the difference between E and U? They are both high, but one is front, the other is back. There is another difference. When you say E, your lips are spread, say it E, but when you say U, your lips are rounded. Okay. So, shape of lips, please write. The shape of lips also plays an important role in the production of speech sounds, in the production of vowel sounds. Okay. Height of tongue, part of tongue and shape of lips. Production of vowel sounds is influenced by height of tongue, then part of tongue and then shape of lips. In other words, it can be either high or low okay, as in E or A. When you say E, it is high or closed. When you say A, it is open or low. Okay part of tongue, when you say E it is the front of tongue, but when you say U it is the back of tongue, when you say A uh, it is the center of tongue. Third factor is shape of lips, shape of lips can be either flat, look at the screen, 
when you say e can you round your lips and say e try it can you round your lips and say e e we can okay we can okay similarly you know when you say u when we say u our lips are rounded can you spread your lips and say u can you spread your lips and say u no we cannot so that is the third factor okay come back to it the vowels in red show those minority sounds where front vowel is rounded and back vowel is spread in most languages of the world okay e is produced with spread lips u is produced with rounded lips but it is possible you know because in nature in god's world anything is possible we say people have five fingers but some people have six fingers we say people have 32 teeth but some people have 34 teeth okay right it is possible you know it does happen usually people are born one at a time but sometimes you can have two people coming at a time okay they are inseparable friends correct so in nature freaks are possible similarly here it says that in that case if this vowel is going to be rounded then the other vowel will be spread okay the opposite of you know the pair is front and back what are the pairs front and back close and open or high and low similarly rounded or unrounded please write you can have rounded or unrounded okay these are the pairs this is how vowels are described either they are front or back or they are high or low or they are unrounded okay to summarize now all vowel sounds are what are the characteristics of vowel sounds all vowel sounds are voiced oral and free okay what is a vowel trapezium it's an imaginary area which describes what which describes the area in our mouth from where we produce vowels how do vowels differ from one another either they are front either they are front or back either or they are high or low close or open or they are rounded or unrounded great you are you guys are you know sure thank you have a good evening